let's try and take these questions uh, these a uh, 50% of these questions would be of a bit higher difficulty level uh, so we'll try and uh, i'll try and assist you with each so don't worry don't be afraid try and answer okay okay sir. so read the question uh, name the clinical sign demonstrated in the video so you want to see the video once again yes sir any idea what the uh, surgeon is trying to do that is uh, anterior apprehension test sir excellent dr murthy you perfectly right this is a apprehension sign or anterior apprehension sign or test perfectly fine uh, so name uh, the next part of the question Name the clinical condition the above test is used to diagnose. Uh, sir, anterior instability of shoulder. Anterior instability of shoulder. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, name two other clinical signs used for diagnosis of the same condi condition. Sir, bony apprehension test. Okay. Uh, uh, bony, bony apprehension test. Uh, Job's relocation test. Yes, Jones relocation test, bony apprehension test, anterior drawer, you can name as many as you want. Just they are asking for two signs. Perfect. How do you assess for generalized ligamentous laxity in such patient? Uh, sir, by means of Bayton scoring system, sir. Perfect. So, full, full marks for uh, all these questions. So, you scored a perfect. So, now it comes a little bit of bounce. So, second station. Again, yes, Dr. Amutya, you can continue. Yes, sir. Uh, name the procedure shown in the figure. Any idea what is being done? Any idea? Just if you don't know the name, just uh, tell me what you think is being done. What is what is shown in the figure? Uh, okay, I I I I'll help you out. Uh, yes. What is this structure? This structure. This structure, this, what is this? Okay, let's start with this. What is this? Where my point, can you see my pointer, laser pointer? That is the coracoid, sir. And what is here on, coming from the coracoid? That is the short head of biceps. Uh, conjoint tendon of short head of biceps and? Coracoidis. Okay, and what is this structure going? Is is uh, Have you done any shoulder surgeries, open shoulder surgeries? Do you see yes, any structure like this or this is yes, not sir. there? Uh, yes, sir. This is, I will tell you this is not a normal structure in its normal position. Yes, uh, what is a, another uh, structure which goes like this? So it is a long head of biceps. So this is the long head of biceps, okay, which is has been put over here using yes, some some anchor over here. Uh, yes, any sir. idea what is being done? What is the procedure? So, the bicipital tenodesis. Uh, where do you do normally do bicipital tenodesis? Where do you do? Where is this? Uh, where do you think this uh, biceps is being attached? Uh, please, no, nothing in the chat box, please. Yes, sir. Nothing in the uh, chat box. If you want to answer, you please raise your hands. Let Dr. Amurthy try and answer it himself. I know he will get it. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, in biceps tenodesis, uh, where do you normally uh, tenodes? This is like a tenodesis, but this is uh, uh, biceps. But normally, you do biceps tenodesis maybe in the groove, bicepital groove, or below the groove, maybe subpectoral, below the pectoralis major. Yes, but here, it is being teno. It's been tenodes, but somewhere here. What what is what is the structure here going like this? Which what structure is coming like this? So it is the mm, which is this muscle? What is this? The subscap subscapularis. Yes, sir. This is showing that the biceps tendon is going through the subscapularis, and what is uh, beneath the subscapularis? It's your glenoid. Glenoid, sir. Yes, sir. So, on the anterior glenoid, by splitting the subscap, we are fixing the biceps over there. Yes. Any yes, any recent advance, recent procedure which has been described? Uh, 
like this this is a recent advance we talked about this in a uh, few classes uh, before this uh, class uh, in a live lecture i have talked about it this previously also in my classes so no no worries this is procedure is known as dynamic anterior stabilization procedure yes sir using your long head of biceps okay yes sir da, da's yes, sir. procedure any okay. idea dr murthy who described this procedure very recently described procedure no worries this was described by two uh, european surgeons alexander lederman and philip collins okay okay sir this is a okay, google types of question so uh, difficult yes. i thought uh, since it's sachin's birthday why not put some googlies over here also <laughs> so uh, any any idea what is the indication of this procedure mm. any just a guess so something in the name also you can say c dynamic anterior stabilization sir anterior instability excellent so it is done for anterior instability but not all patients with anterior instability so anterior instability with subcritical glenoid bone loss so this is a very recent procedure uh, still indications are still being uh, refined but as of today this is the indication and this is not a stand alone procedure it's always done as an adjunct to your arthroscopic bank cards so you do bank cards and then to your bank cards add your das okay 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 sir. what is the principle of the surgery why do you want to add to a, after doing a bank cards why do you want to do add bicep stenosis over there anterior to the glenoid any other procedure which is done like this what other anterior instability shoulder procedure you know dr murthy uh you know bank cards procedure yes sir any other anterior instability procedure you know which is commonly done the latter j latter j and what latter j what do you do what are what is the principle of latter j so in latter j we will take the coracoid process and attach it with the uh, anterior inferior portion of the glenoid bone loss mm -hmm. so what is the what are the three principles of latter j procedure you remember So we increase the glenoid arc of motion. Doctor Murthy only, please. Any any idea what are the principles of Latarj? Uh, no sir, not. So principles of Latarj, three principles are first, it uh, fills the glenoid bone defect. Okay. Yes sir. Second yes, sir. is it we do a capsular tightening and closure, and third is. that it causes a sling effect on the lower subscapularis it okay. doesn't allow the subscapularis to slip superiorly so subscapularis inferior part of subscapularis is always acts as a anterior restraint to the humeral head so the sling effect of sub uh, the latarge is recreated here without a bony uh without it's a non bony uh Latarge procedure, you can say that, and in that you normally use short head of biceps. Here you are using long head, so, so you are just trying to create a sling effect of subscapularis. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you. So that yes. is the principle. I know it was a difficult, but I think you did quite well. 